Hey guys, it's Chris on the lovely Friday afternoon. Lovely. I thought it would be a little bit nicer out. It's only about 40. Got a symphony of leaf blowers going on back here behind the lovely backyard that the landlord filled in where the pool used to be. Supposedly there's uh, actual grass coming in. I don't know if we likes to be around here long enough to see it. We're looking at getting real estate this summer. See where that gets us. And, uh, somewhere over in this direction. Sounds like someone's uh, sawing a house in half. Not sure what's going on there, but then I gotta remember it's a Friday. I'm not at work. Still the during the work week and uh, what a weird one for me at home. They're doing their jobs. I work landscaping and uh odd jobs here and there before. Get into my current job and uh you know we all gotta do our thing. So uh reason I'm coming to you guys today, um just finished up some uh some Boswell in the Boswell here. Uh, I know it's usually Friday freehand, but I don't have a freehand. So we're going to do Friday Funny instead. Uh, I've got a bit of a lengthy one here. Lengthy joke, so uh, if you've heard it, oh, well, I guess you can disregard. But I uh, heard it from a singer that I like named Darby O'Gill. Look him up if you hadn't heard of him before. Uh, Irishman, got some Irish in me, and I like the, like the music too. But uh tells one of these uh, bunch of jokes during his act, and one of them is as follows. It's for mature audiences, you could say. So uh, clear the kids out. So Irish farmer has a dirt farm. And he wakes up one morning and finds that his only thing worth having besides his family, the milk cow, the milk cow that's uh, keeping the farm going because the dirt don't sell for much, has keeled over and died in the middle of the night. So... He doesn't know what to do. It's the only thing he had going for him. So he hangs himself. Doesn't know how he's going to help the family anymore. I think this is it. Hangs himself. And wife wakes up. Sees a dead cow. Dead husband. She doesn't know what she's going to do. Runs over to the river. Throws herself off the bridge. And their son wakes up. Sees the dead cow. Dead parents. And he's just about to do the same. And he sees a lady leprechaun. And she says, Hey, looks like you're having a bad day. And... He says, sure am there, Lady Leprechaun. And he says, what gave it away? And she says, now hold on here. I have a deal for you. Now, you look like a strapping young lad. If you can make love to me ten times in a row without stopping, I'll bring that milk cow back to life and I'll give you your mom and pops back. And the kid says, well, I could sure use my family back plus the milk cow. And I'm young and I'm very wild. I think we can do this. So he tries and, well, doesn't quite make it, so she kills him. That's how they operate. Kind of creepy, I know. Uh, so then son number two wakes up. And he sees the cow, sees mom, dad, and his brother. And he's just about to dive off the bridge, and Leprechaun comes up to him. And little lady of Leprechaun, she says, so, looks like you're having a bad day too. And he says, I am. She says, so, here's the deal. If you make love to me ten times in a row without stopping, I'll bring the cow back to life. Bring your mother, your father, and your brother back to life. And he says, well, I'll go for it. And he doesn't quite make it, so she kills him. And the third brother, he wakes up. Sees the cow, mom, dad, two brothers. And he's just about to do the same, jump off the old bridge when he spots the leprechaun. He says, hey, lady leprechaun. And she says, looks like you're having a bad morning. And he goes, well, I certainly say I am. She says, well, here's the deal. If you make love to me ten times in a row without stopping. I'll bring the cow back to life and your whole family. And he says, well, I know I can do that. Got a question for you, though. Fifteen. What do you do? What about fifteen times? What do you give me for that? She says, well, fifteen. I'll give you the cow and your family and I'll uh, give you a mansion where your little hut used to be. The little thing you guys call the house. That's not going to be a mansion. And he says, well, that's quite a deal. Uh, okay, another question. What about uh, twenty? What do I get for twenty? And she chuckles and says, well, for 20, you make love to me 20 times in a row without stopping. I'll give you the cow, your family, I'll give you that mansion we just talked about, and I'll give you a million dollars. And he says, really? Well, that's quite a deal. But let me ask you this. I've got a little problem with that. If I make love to you 20 times in a row without stopping, what's to keep you from uh, dropping dead? The milk cow did.
See you later, guys.